This is not an original Nintendo Famicom board. Okay. So you got these screws like that? They go in the This one or... is an original. Right, so here's the case. We cleaned it, it's dry, but we found out that the case is very brittle. Mm -mm. So we cracked it here, we cracked it more here, and we also cracked the main case. Right here, so already assembled the ejection mechanism. So, if we put the case back together, you will see the chips on the side. Okay, so right there. Unfortunately, the upper or the this part of the case, the upper part. It's yellowed through and through up until the inside. So not much we can do about that. Maybe we can I don't know, maybe painting it would help, but So we have our composite outboard here. This is um, one of my earlier prototypes, not earlier prototypes, one of my most recent prototypes. We will be soldering a lot of wires since we need to connect it here on this port. So that's the video, audio, and the last one here is plus five volts. The larger pads are ground. So we have to remove the heatsink, ah, the heatsink, the RF module, in order for us to be able to install this. So I will not be showing you how I desolder this thing because I'm sure it will take a long time because of the heatsink or the uh, the shielding will act as a heatsink. So the plan is to remove the covers first, desolder the large. Um, uh, large solder blobs there where the case is soldered onto the board and then finally remove the connectors. I'll be doing that off camera. Next update you'll be seeing is probably m me installing the AV module board or the AV out board. With the uh, mini USB for power. <coughs> so instead of the Famicom having nine volts in, this will be this will directly have uh, five volts. 
All right, so that's the update for now. Oh, by the way, speaking of original and fake boards, I do have a fake board right here. So here is a fake or bootleg Nintendo Famicom board. As you can see, there is no Nintendo markings on the board. While it looks professionally made, the CPU and the PPU are actually aftermarket parts and not the PPU and CPU of the original. As you can see, they have different part number. There. The PPU has a part number of RP2C02G-0 and the CPU corresponding part number for this one UA6528 and UA6527 for the PPU and CPU respectively and yes these can be bought off the shelf. Off the shelf. While this works perfectly with the uh, original games, provided that I connect my AV out board here on the seven pins. And the PPU and CPU are actually socketed so you can remove that including I think this is a RAM so you can remove that as well it's socketed this is not an original Nintendo Famicom board this one is an original 